OK. So we're going to start talking about the division algorithm. And I thought I would tell you by by showing you. Uh, so because it's it's really simple. It's something that you 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 know you might not be familiar with the name of, but I'm going to start out with showing you uh, a number. This number is OK, the number of cards represented by these cards themselves. I'm going to take this number of cards, which I'll call in, and I'm going to divide it by D. And in this case, I'm going to say let's D equal three, just so that I can, can keep things on the camera. <clears throat> camera. You go one, two, three, and I'm going to keep dealing them out exactly one in every pile. And I'm going to keep doing this until I don't have enough to get into every pile. One, two, three, and I now have one left over. Everything has the same numbers in, in it with one left over. So uh, now let's see, I've got three times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I had one left over. So this means my n was equal to 25, right? So I, I don't even have to count because I because that's how math works. Now this brings us to a uh, a formula that we call the division algorithm. Uh, the division algorithm is that n is equal to d times q plus r where zero is less than or equal to r is less than d uh, we call n the numerator d you guessed it the denominator uh, Q, the quotient, and R, the remainder. Okay. And so we have here uh, another way of, of doing this. Uh, you know, why are in the numerator and D the denominator? Because if I take this formula here and I divide it through by D, I have N over D is equal to Q plus R over D. And so that gives me the quotient. And this R is always going to be less than 1 because R is less than D. So I'll have N over D, N divided by D is equal to Q plus a little fraction left over. Now, the thing about the division algorithm, this formula is this is the only way to do it. If you have your your n and your d being positive numbers, there are exactly one pair is exactly one pair q of r of uh, of uh, integers, so that r is less than d. And so the way we say this is Q, Q and R are uniquely determined. Okay. So how do we know they're unique? Well, we suppose 
that there are two ways of doing it. Suppose that we have n is equal to d times q plus r, and n is equal to d times q prime plus r prime. Uh, and so they're both equal, both of these formulas are equal to n, so they have to be equal to each other. So I get that d times q plus r is equal to d times q prime plus r prime. Take the d terms to one side and the r terms to the other, we get then that d times q minus d times q prime is equal to r prime minus r. Now, simultaneously, take the absolute value of both sides and factor the left-hand side. Then I'll have d times q times r times the absolute value of uh, q minus q is equal to the absolute value of r minus r. Okay. If q isn't equal to q prime, well, see, first off, if it is equal to, to q prime, then this is equal to zero. And so my r minus r prime is going to have to be equal to zero. And so if q is equal to q prime, then r is equal to r prime, and we're done. But if q does not equal to q prime, d can't be equal to zero because you can't divide by zero so i would have that uh, the the r prime minus r is going to be bigger than or equal to d but that can't be because i I've, i'm making the assumption that both uh r and r prime are between d and zero and if r if that if that is the case then the difference between them can't be any bigger than d okay so uh, we would have a contradiction therefore uh we have to have that q is equal to q prime and r is equal to r prime so there's only one way to do this division <laughs> 